This is the fried man, Mark Carter himself. And this is the Mac Attack. Tonight I'm reviewing WWE A Fast Lane, which felt more like an episode of Monday Night Blah. That's right, I said Monday Night Blah, because it hasn't been raw on Monday night in quite some time. Uh, here we had uh, the team of Ryback, Ziggler, and Eric Rowan going up against Seth Rollins, The Big Slow, and Kane. I think Big Show and Kane need to retire. <laughs> they just suck the life out of everything. Uh, but they pick up the win. Big Show with his massive uh, weapon. <laughs> what do they call that? The, the, the weapon of mass destruction or whatever. He knocked out Ziggler and Kane pinned him. And uh, this match got absolutely no reaction from the crowd whatsoever. Another match that got no reaction whatsoever. They got boring chants. <laughs> uh, we had Goldust uh, defeating Stardust. And, of course, this match is going to drag out until WrestleMania. Uh, and then, uh, uh, I don't know, it just, it just, it just uh, sucked. The backstage promo... Uh, was better than the match itself. It just the 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 backstage promo after the match with Stardust. Uh, it was better than the match itself. And uh, I don't know what is up with John Stewart of the Daily Show uh, wanting to challenge Seth Rollins to a match. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But I thought that was kind of comical. And then. Uh, Let's see, we go on to Uso Boring versus uh, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. And uh, for the most part, this match was pretty boring until the end. And then I marked out because Cesaro and Tyson Kidd picked up the victory and are our new tag team champions of the world. That was pretty cool. The Triple H uh, Sting face-off. That was pretty lame. Uh, eh. Then we had a, another blah match, which featured Nikki Bella retaining against Paige. I was uh, hoping and was rooting for Paige to win this match, actually, but it didn't happen. And then we go on to yet another blah match, in which... Uh, Dean Ambrose got disqualified. He got disqualified against uh, Wade Barrett. And uh, Wade Barrett was just running around looking like a pussy. He really did look like a pussy. Um, and why he kept running away, I don't know. Because when you look at Wade Barrett and you look at Dean Ambrose, I mean, it should be a no-brainer. Wade Barrett would whoop Dean Ambrose's ass anywhere else in the world but in the WWE and on Fastlane you had Wade Barrett running around like a scared schoolgirl, and it just sucked um, what happened next we had Wade Barrett jump out and uh, he pretty much called out the Undertaker and a pretty elaborate uh, uh, I don't know. He, he it looked like the Undertaker was making uh, was making his entrance on the inside of the coffin, and he had the droids, the druids, or whatever you want to call them out there with the fire, and it really felt like the Undertaker was gonna show. They played his music and everything. They open up the coffin, and out comes. Uh, Bray Wyatt. <laughs> so Bray Wyatt calls out The Undertaker. And uh, so that's pretty much going to happen at WrestleMania, I guess. Although at this point, I don't think anybody wants to see The Undertaker wrestle again. I just don't see where that would do Undertaker any favors. And... Uh, and if Bray Wyatt picked up the victory, 
you know, who who gives a shit? I mean, Undertaker's streak is over, and what would be the point of beating up some 50-plus-year-old man who looks older than 80? <laughs> I love The Undertaker, don't get me wrong. He is one of my all-time favorites, but honestly, I do not want to see this match at WrestleMania. Then we had, uh, oh, here's a shocker. Rusev defeated John Cena and retained the U.S. Championship. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, of course, he had to kick him uh, in the nads <laughs> and kick him in the face. And see, uh, Alana, with a distraction, allowed Rusev to kick John Cena in the nuts. Low blow. And then he kicked him in the head and slapped on that accolade or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, well, John Cena, he didn't give up, but his body did. And uh, he passes out, and Rusev retains. And then the last match was, uh, this pay-per-view was really all about Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. And uh, Daniel Bryan did the favors for Roman Reigns. And so, in fact, it will be uh, Roman Reigns versus, uh, was it, uh, Brock Lesnar at the pay-per-view WrestleMania. So, uh, this kind of, you know, it is what it is. Now they got five weeks to sell me on this pay-per-view match between Brock Lesnar and, uh, Roman Reigns, but, uh, I just, just don't care to see it. I really don't. And, uh, and it's not because I, I wanted Daniel Bryan to win. I did, but, uh, I just don't think Roman Reigns is really ready, but he had a good match here, I guess. And, uh, Roman Reigns, of course he won. And, uh, after the match, uh, Daniel Bryan uh, says, you better beat his ass. And so, uh, in reference to Brock Lesnar, good must Roman Reigns look to barely beat Daniel Bryan and to uh, turn around and expect him to beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? I hope to God they can... Uh, somehow re-sign Brock. I don't want to see Brock Lesnar go anywhere. But it is uh, Roman Reigns going over Daniel Bryan at Fastlane tonight. Uh, this was a throwaway pay-per-view, which uh, honestly could have happened tomorrow night on Raw. And uh, with that, that's uh, pretty much all I got to say about that. So, uh, I, uh, if, if uh, you want to talk, got any comments, leave them below. Uh, I don't do these reviews very often. Maybe on a good episode of Monday Night Raw. <laughs> As if. And uh, mainly uh, for pay-per-views. You'll see the Mac Attack. I've also got a playlist on my YouTube channel called Fried Man Rants and Reviews. And I also I do a show called uh, My Two Cents. And uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to expand the playlist. and uh, But it all depends on anyone listening that actually cares and wants to carry conversation with a disabled veteran who just happens to be a huge wrestling fan. Uh, anyway, uh, until next time, this is the fried man, Mark Carter himself. And this has been the Mac Attack. I'll see you on the flip side.